Speaking of things that will get us in trouble, uh, this comes from theamericanconservative.com, so you know it's legit. This is a rhythm of racist prayer. Oh, that screen is still not a racist in, prayer in position. What? Yeah, I I was How? I was told about this by this this is every bit as bad and worse than you would think it is. Um, so there's a book out called A Rhythm of Prayer, a collection of meditations for renewal. Compiled by the progressive Christian author Sarah Bessie. 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 It's a cow's name. Bessie. No, Bessie. Oh, Bessie. Bessie. Yeah. Okay, that is a cow name. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> so th there's a book <laughs> written by this progressive black woman, and she wrote uh, one of these specific prayers in there is called Prayer of a Weary Black Woman. Um, or no, I, I guess she didn't write it. She It looks like she collected it from other, other authors or whatever, but she included it in her book. Uh, an associate professor in the Mercy University School of Theology. <laughs> this is a prayer. Prayer of a weary black woman. Dear God, please help me to hate white people. Or at least, <laughs> at least to want to hate them. So if I can't quite bring myself to hating them, at least help me want to hate them. Uh, at least. I, I want to stop caring about them individually and collectively. I want to stop caring about... Their misguided racist souls to stop believing that they can be better, that they can stop being racist. So praying that she will continue or start hating white people and stop being fed lies that that white people cannot be racist. Like there's a possibility that some white people aren't racist. She doesn't want to fall into that evil trap of thinking that all white people aren't racist. Travis, your thoughts, <laughs> oh, man, again. I just don't get the world. I don't get this. That's like, what? Um, yeah. Sorry. Um. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you want from me? What know. do you want from me on this? <laughs> the, I don't even know where to go with the, this. I, like, <laughs> I've been saying, like, the whole anti-racist stuff is more for racism, in my opinion. It's uh, the, the people who came up with the anti-racism agenda are they... They basically believe that all white people are on a spectrum of racism because of the history. Mm -hmm. Like, every white person is racist in one degree or another, but not all of them are as bad. Um, but they're all bad to yeah. some degree. It's like the original sin in a religion. Uh, you're born into racism if you're white. And um, what it's done is created segregation. We've made, like, oh, we've got these... Uh, only black people can go into this place, or only white people should go into this place. There was a freaking... Um, article that I did several months ago about um, a campus like coffee shop or something that was whites only and it was done in the name of progression and diversity because they were like we're going to keep the white people over here so they're not infecting the black people it's like that's the same thing it really is that's yeah. segregation you you have a whites only coffee shop on your campus that's segregation that's just terrible yeah that's crazy man and now we we are literally praying to God <laughs> That we can be more racist, and this was a bestseller on Amazon. Of course it was. We are fucked. <laughs> of course it was. 